Now to another developing story tonight, this one in Ottawa, the latest on allegations of foreign interference. The Liberal government's expelling a Chinese diplomat accused of intimidating a Conservative MP and his family in Hong Kong. Mackenzie Gray joins us now from Ottawa. Mackenzie, first, how did this all unfold? Yeah, Far, after months of pressure on the Chinese interference file, the Liberals have made their biggest definitive action yet. That the government of Canada has declared the individual in question today, a diplomat from China, Mr. Zhao Wei, persona non grata. Now, Zhao Wei is the Chinese diplomat at the center of a plan outlined in a 2021 CSIS report to target Conservative MP Michael Chong and his family after Chong supported a motion condemning Beijing's treatment of the Uyghur minority. We will not tolerate any form of foreign interference in our internal affairs. The Minister of Foreign Affairs has taken this decision carefully after considering all factors. But reaching that decision took the government a week after the Chong story was first reported in the Globe and Mail. Uh, now, the Prime Minister, who says he wasn't briefed on the CISA's report, said he was concerned about all the potential impacts and expulsion could have on Canada-China relations. But Chong believes the government should have taken action sooner. This decision to expel a diplomat should have, been, should have taken place years ago. The fact is we've become somewhat of a playground for foreign interference threat activities. The diplomat's expulsion was announced in the middle of a House of Commons vote brought forward by the Conservatives, uh, calling on the government to remove the diplomat, but also to call for a public inquiry on the issue, establishing a foreign agents registry, and also closing down Chinese police stations in Canada. And that non-binding motion passed the House of Commons, but the Liberals voted against it. So it's inexplicable why the government is refusing to support a motion calling on uh, the adoption of three other measures to help protect Canadians here on Canadian soil. The Chinese embassy responded to the expulsion, saying they'll take countermeasures against Canada Farah for sending one of their top diplomats home. Mackenzie Gray in Ottawa. Thank you, Mackenzie.